It all comes down to this. Sonic has been murdered, we've examined all our suspects, now to find a killer. Don't worry, Sonic, we will avenge you. Which member on board did the crime? It's finally time to find my murderer. Before we get started, make sure you give the like, share, and subscribe buttons a spin dash. The previous episodes will be available to watch on the Sonic and Amy Squad YouTube channel. So grab your popcorn and let's solve this mystery. Conductor's car! In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd! I haven't seen him throughout the whole train at all! Last we saw him was when we left the dining car! Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out! Come on! Time to investigate! Let's crack on! But Shadow, what are you doing on there? I'm... brooding. It certainly has. Ooh, a trash can! Yeah, let's check that out. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. Are you crazy? You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Dude, what if there actually was something in there? Yeah, no, we'll never know. Man, hey, what's that on the ground? Hmm? What's this? Was someone playing darts? Whoa, that's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Oh. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board. Let's make note of this. Blow dart is added to our inventory. Sweet. What's with the arm on the ground? Oh, let's find out. <gasps> this robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm is now in our inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Event! Among Us! Think you had enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named the suspect. Yeah. What do you think, Jerome? Ready to solve this case? Oh, it is time. Please, someone figure out who killed me. Let's do it. Hello, everyone! This is the birthday girl speaking! Please report to the conductor car at once! Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Jerome! Jerome. Speak. Uh, uh, why hasn't Sonic shown up yet? Huh? Ah, uh, Vector! Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead. Lazy bum. Ready? Let's go get him! Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does a escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms! Kill me in! Man, I sure wish I could be involved with this wonderful conversation, but I'm unfortunately dead in the story. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Yeah, except me. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Ha! <laughs> yeah! That'd be fun too! Ah! Huh? Huh? <gasps> what in the world? <laughs> That's Amy's voice! Quick, where's Amy? <sighs> Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Let him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. Oh. I knew one of you would take this too far! Huh? Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less! Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! So I'll ask you again. Which one of you did this? Uh... Oh. This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Huh, Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Jerome, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh, it's the big question, guys. I... All right, who do you guys think is size? Um, I don't know. Obviously, I'm safe. I helped you guys find the dart and everything. Yeah, Shadow and I are safe, but who else is safe? Vector is a little suspicious. Vector is a little suspicious, but so is Espio, saying he didn't see Shadow. Hmm. That was Good a little point. bit 
weird. Rouge and Blaze we were with, and they didn't really seem too suspicious. I don't know. I don't trust that bat girl. So who do we choose? We choose me. Why? That can't be right. Neither Tails or I can be the murderer. I think Espio has a little sus. He is. Espio, you're the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? <laughs> huh? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss! What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Jerome, could you fill in everyone, please? What do we find that brings in question Espio's alibi? Yeah, you better figure this out. I mean, we've discovered Narnia. We discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true. You didn't miss a question. But I think Jerome and I can explain that, too. Jerome? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? He's a poet, so a quick reader. Espio is a poet. I feel such a profession would make you quite the reader. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What the? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. It is possible. Espio's particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. Knuckles can read? Yes, I can read! <laughs> if I'm right and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered! Since we're only talking the what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. Huh, that's right! How would Espio have known it was there? You said it yourself, kid! You were lucky to even find the passage! Jerome and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Jerome, who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Rouge! Rouge! We need to see those blueprints! Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used a discount for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to our inventory. You guys better figure this out. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used it to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Jerome, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the broken. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints, then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. With Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. I'm unsure of how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Jerome and I have evidence on how it was done. <laughs> Pray tell, if I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? I think it's the blow door. I think it was the blow door. Yep, let's get him. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, Jerome. What would Sonic do? Cringe. Mm. Alright guys, I got this. I'm gonna get them rings for you so you guys can figure out the mystery. Yay, you better do it. So Sonic, do you know who did this? Of course I do, I'm not gonna tell you. Come on, Sonic. We wanna solve the mystery. Like Scooby-Doo. Yeah, we gotta solve the mystery, gang. Yeah, but who's Scooby? Uh, you, obviously. What, no, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the victim. Obviously, Shadow. What? No? This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. Huh. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I am unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? Ugh. You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot. That's a good point. But Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Jerome and I know 
another way it could have been done. We, we do? What piece of evidence do we have to take a closer look at? The blueprint! Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Jerome. Think! Oh, not again! Come on, Sonic! You gotta help us think! I'm doing my best, okay? I can't promise anything! Hang in there, guys! Alright, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get into the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Huh, there's... There's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Oh! What? I didn't even see that area. Is this some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. Among us! Sus! Uh. The vent! Of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. My word! There's a path back there. And a track! A, a track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train! So you're saying, I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Huh? Tails, you're a smart kid. So I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Probably the arm, because it's broken. Yeah, that's about the last clue. Whew! Now to think about my argument. You can do this, Jerome. You can do this! Oh boy! Another think! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna get the coin! I'm rings! Uh, ow! Come on, Sonic! We're so close to solving this! You got it! Whoa! Dude, this is intense! No prop! Ow! Ah, four rings short! Yes, got it! Finally! Let's go! Good job! Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of the robot arms was a casualty. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from a blow dart and carried him into the dining car. Could, could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? <sighs> I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten it. Interesting theory, Tails, but you do have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SPO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. <gasps> what kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SPO. Who received that information? Uh, I think I know. Me! Give it a shot. Amy. You received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Oh. Tails! You're, you're right! Espio lied to me! Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic, but we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise! That scoop came from you, Espio? <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard. <laughs> misheard you? Uh, yes, I said. Uh, Sonic's gonna get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. Well, what? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's been a lot thrown at you that makes sense. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Go! And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe it's clear to everyone. It, it was, was you, Espio! You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Ha! Ha! Oh. <sighs> Hey, guys. Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer! Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me! A blow dart, though? Really? It's non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. We all need to get off this train! We're not safe! What? what When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train, but what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source! Dr. Eggman! I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor! You're not serious! Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Uh, hmm. 
Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong, and I stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me, pin me to the floor. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no! Hmm. Hmm. Uh, everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. Huh? The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. See? What is that? It says, use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff, what is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed Staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Hmm. Weapons should not be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed these arms to attack? Who? Or what? Jerome, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Do you think it was the conductor? I mean, he was tied up, so I don't think so. Hmm. So that means it must be the train itself. Really? That's kind of weird, but I guess so. Strange enough. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a badnik, and now it's out to get us? Train? Huh. Come on and show yourself! Uh, Amy! It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get this train's attention. What? What was that? What did you two do? Is that the conductor? <laughs> Here, I can get him down. Now touch him. Huh? Ah, uh, is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little, little game, game to figure, figure it out. out. I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails, like we always planned. What are you? Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Hmm, which one of these buttons turns the train off? W whoa Sonic! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! I can't keep my footing. <laughs> A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Uh, ah, my head. Tails? Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. <sighs> Sonic! I'm so sorry, uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, are you all right? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? I'm doing amazing. You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea, lead the way. That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Huh, well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Ho ho ho! You spiky blue pest! Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains! You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres. It's science! Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no! I'm only now getting caught up. 
I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a bandit is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happen to board. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. I like to make my bandits compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I insinuated a bounty upon my army of badniks. First, to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Huh. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever. But a highly intelligent train... It may ask for something more interesting. Are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao! He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation. And being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. This whole time... We were all in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Yes, he should he have. He should have, yeah, he really should have done more. For real. I should have done more. Am I at fault here? Yes. I knew Sonic was hurt all along. Hey. Huh? I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here, helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? What would you do? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So... What would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Huh? Ha! Wow! With one big wind up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. <laughs> now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Ready to go? Let's do it to it. That's the spirit. Let's go find our friends to the conductor's car. To the end of this mystery. So Jerome's part of our friend group now, I guess. No! All right. Our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door too. Ready? Let's do this. All right. Time to save our friends. Yeah, finally. We're getting to the end of this, guys. Messed up. I gotta start over. Dude, you think you'd get it by now, Sonic? Would you care to try? Uh, no, I'm pretty bad with keyboards because I have giant hands. Made it. Huh. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hm. Yeah, you got me. On to the next group. You got, got this, Sonic. Sonic. I'm doing my best. Made it. Ha! Huh. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. All right, Vector and Espio are safe. On the blaze of rouge. Yo, this thing looks insane. Look at that background. Almost there. Ow. Ow. Whew. Just made it. Ha. Sonic, it's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. I've never heard Rouge say that. All right, on my way to the next car. No, Sonic, don't fail. Don't fail. Doing my best. Don't Dude, fail. chill. Don't fail. Dude, stop. Ooh. Come on, Sonic. Step it up. Come on, Sonic. Ah, all right, I'll do my best, guys. Ow. Whew. Ha. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor car. Say no more. Let's go. All right, time to get Amy and Tails. Come on, Sonic. You got this. Doing my best. Oh, I didn't get enough rings. Oops. Well, if at first you don't succeed. Save me. I'll do my best. Got it. All right, just got to keep these rings safe. Yeah. Spin dash. Sonic. Sonic, you're here. <laughs> this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right. I'm ready. Time to finish this. Wonder what's gonna happen. I don't know. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another death hit. Don't turn us into robots. Oh, haven't done that in a while. Maybe I will turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. 
not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty. I don't care what you call it, just bring me those overgrown mammals. Urgh, that egg man. Hmm, I must get my wish. Huh? I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Yo, now we're running alongside the train. Cool. Wait, you got to fight the train? Yeah, it looks like it. Watch out for those arms, Sonic. I'll do my best. Go, Sonic. You got this, Sonic. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Whoa, that train's got some issues. Let's Any get him down. Issues, most likely. Whoa, man, there's a lot to dodge here. Doing pretty good. I'm trying. All right, got enough rings. Whoo, made it. Eggman. Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Whoa, uh, a little creepy, not gonna lie. Come on, Sonic, 70 rings. You can do it. You've got this, Sonic. Go, Sonic, go! Go, Sonic! Dude, it's kind of hard to dodge all this stuff, but I think I can do it. No, I missed two rings. Oh, all right, let's try that again. Yes, got it! Conductor! You promised me. You promised. Let him speak. Unhand him. Train! Stop this! When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No! Stop! What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. <laughs> we have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Oh no! The train's getting ahead of you. Oh no! You gotta hurry, Sonic! Whoa! Uh oh! Are we gonna get what? attacked? Uh, oh. I guess we fight the train. Dude, this is crazy. Look at all these lines, man! All the red stuff to avoid! It's driving me crazy! Whoa! Oh, and I was so close, too! You just need to focus, Sonic. Yeah, don't be too distracted. Just stay on course. Ow! Okay, I'll do my best! You got this, Sonic! Let's end this. Ha! Huh, take that, train! Hey, there's the Flicky! The Flicky? Huh? This is just like the lore card when my ex-best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman! So this really is a bad nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. Alright, 85 rings. We got this, guys. It's kind of rare to see Eggman use Flickies as a power source. I think it's been a while. Made it! Alright, guys, let's go! Good job! Ha! Huh. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about... What about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Mm, me? Selfish? How? How dare you? All right, I think this is the last phase, guys. You got this! Yeah, 100 rings! Go, Sonic, go! You've got this, Sonic. I tried, okay? I'm... Man, really? I mean, we were cheering you on and everything. Yeah, man. And you messed up. Yeah, I'm gonna try again, Al. No. Don't worry. Just look at how weak it is, Sonic. And think of all the enjoyable cake we will get to have. I want that cake! Yeah, I want some birthday cake too. Three rings. Made it! Good job, Sonic! Yes. Good job, Sonic! Thanks! Good job, bro! Ha! Let's beat up this train and make sure it never rides the rails again. No! 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 I'll grab the flicky. Huh. Hmm. It's over! Time to pay for ruining my birthday! Yeah! Ah! Huh? Ah. <laughs> the train is slowing down! Great hit, Amy! <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day! <laughs> I... I just... couldn't bear to, to see, see you go. go. I'm... sorry. For the, the trouble. trouble. I'm so sorry. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Good.
goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Well, that was sad. That was sad. Man, I think I'm crying. <laughs> Guys, that was an emotional moment. Uh, I need a hug. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're broke. Uh, Man. <laughs> watch your step. Watch your step. It, it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we'll just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh? You don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey! <laughs> you're late, I've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> You'd honestly never believe what happened, so I won't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning and you need a pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something. Something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. I'm in the background. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Ow! Oh, who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Deep, deep, deep. Great job saving that little guy, SBO. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be! You are just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously? A dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. Now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. Sonic? Wait. Where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? This station has a bakery. And look what I bought. Ah, a birthday cake. Happy birthday. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personacity. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if personacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Bye, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now, let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Yay. I hope it's chocolate. Mm. That train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare a bath. The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry! Sound of choice, you evil miss! Shut it! Hmm. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends, entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... Oh, uh, what does Jerome do, guys? Do you think he should quit his job or stick with it? I mean, he could stick with the gig, I, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe he should stick with it. Yeah, why not? And then... Oh! Uh, one win millions, millions in, the, in lottery. the lottery or practice his singing. What do you guys think? I was not aware Jerome could sing. Maybe he just wins millions in the lottery. And after all that, I... Flew to space. Yeah, let's do fly to space. Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, that's just been my life. That was almost six hours of my life. We spent almost six hours of recording footage. You guys better have liked it. We didn't even stop to go to the bathroom. Well, actually, no, wait, Knuckles did. I did before we started. What did you guys think of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new, subscribe. And until next time, see, see you, squad! squad.